I am my own roadie. Is the name. I bring my own equipment out. You folks gotta loosen up a lot. Okay. This is the most adult thing I've ever done in my life was buy a house. I can't believe I did this. I'm, I'm not even mature enough to handle the whole deal because I don't have my money priorities straight. I mean, I'm sitting in this house, real estate agents trying to explain me all different types of financing available. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, he's saying real important things. I know that, but I can't pay attention to what he's saying. The only thing I can think of is, can I get cable TV here? <laughs> I don't see a cable hook. Where's the cable hook up, man? I said, moved into my house. A friend of mine comes over. She goes, this is nice, Rich. How are you going to decorate it? Go decorate it? I'm a guy. Put the couch there. Put the TV in front of it. I'm finished. <laughs> if I get real fancy, put the toilet paper in that little roller thing, you know? Because <laughs> you women just know we guys don't really clean up if you're not around. How about the first time she had to use your bathroom, guys? She usually starts with a question. Do you have a bathroom I can use? <laughs> Now he's a gas station down the street. <laughs> you check out most women's bathrooms, these are operating room clean. They got cotton balls and gauze pads and, and more than one towel hanging up. I got one towel, when that one stiffens, I buy another. <laughs> Keep it off the hook. Unbelievable, my house. Everything is so differences between men and women, that's all there is to it. You know, we can't hang out together all the time. If we did, we'd drive each other nuts. I'm convinced that's how guys have been married for 15 years come up with hobbies like duck hunting. <laughs> it's the only explanation I can come up with for a guy who wants to stand in freezing marsh water at 5 in the morning. He's out there going, well, at least she's not here. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's football season. The guys love to watch football. Sometimes women like to watch football. Sometimes women get upset the guys watch so much football. If it upsets you the guy watch so much football, try this. Understand the game, sit down, watch it with him. Because guys are just having a testosterone blowout. Oh! Oh, that's dumb. That's the stupidest play I've ever seen. What are you yelling about? That was a third and short yardage situation. Went off dive tackle. It was a good call. They just ran into an overshifted defense. <laughs> understand this? Well, let's see what else is on. <laughs> there are differences. I just try to do little things differently, avoid those bigger arguments with my girlfriend. That's all I'm trying to do. I used to make this mistake all the time, just in terms of getting ready to go out for the date. When she started to get ready to go out for the date, I started to get ready to go out for the date. Then I had an hour and a half ready time to kill. <laughs> Not her fault, my fault. Women generally take longer to get ready because they care about how they look. Guys tend to be very basic. Does this shirt go with these pants? All right, let's go. Stain, what stain? How about now? Let's go. Problem is, you guys know this. Once you're in your ready clothes, there's nothing else you can do. You're in your ready clothes. You can't work on a car. You can't roll around with a dog. You're in your ready clothes. Only thing you can do is sit on the edge of the couch and yell, Let's go! And there's never anything on television when you're ready to go out. This sucks. Let's go! <laughs> and crazy fool that you are, you think your yelling's gonna make her move faster back here. Let's go! <laughs> Keep yelling, stress boy. <laughs> Sometimes we guys miss the whole point of her getting dialed up to go out with us because we forget to compliment her. She takes the time to look great. You see her. She looks great. It registers in your brain she looks great, but you don't say she looks great. Then she has to bring it up in the car. <laughs> Aren't you going to say anything about the way I look? <laughs> it's too late now, pal. <laughs> you might as well turn the car around and go home and argue for a while. Because <laughs> sometimes the pressure to get ready just overwhelms women. It's too much for them. Some of you guys must have been involved in this scene. You're waiting for her to get ready, and it's taking an unusually long amount of time this night. Got real quiet back there. Haven't heard her move around for a while. You want to see how she's doing, but you don't look like you're pressuring her. She just kind of sneak back and peek into the bedroom, and you see her standing in front of an open closet full of clothes. She's just standing there. The options have overwhelmed her. She's gone in the brain lock at this point. <laughs> eyes are glazed over. The pupils are dilated. She's just kind of swaying in the breeze.
She's not saying anything, but you know what she's thinking. I'm fat, there's nothing here that can help me. <laughs> and you gotta try to talk her down. You're not fat, baby, I love you, you're not fat. No, well, we'll pick out a dress together. Let me help you on this, let me help you on this one. How about the blue dress? <laughs> you got the blue dress, I'll burn the blue dress. Blue dress is evil, never see the blue dress again. <laughs> Won't you go in your slip? You look okay in your slip. Let's go! <laughs> Why is politically incorrect like a rash in the shape of Hillary Clinton? Because it's topical and funny. If you were on a sinking ship and yelled, women and children first, how much feminist opposition do you think you'd get? When they say women and children first, they mean to go overboard and die. Politically incorrect, hosted by Bill Maher. Serious topics, funny guests. Premiering Sunday at 8 p.m. here at Comedy Central arguments later on. Like, you guys know not to do this, but sometimes you do it anyway out of instinct. But when you're out with your woman, never ever watch another woman walk by. Now, I'm not saying that women never watch other guys walk by. I think they do, but they're just better at it. Like, they don't move their heads, just their eyes. I don't care how subtle the guy thinks he's being. His woman will sense the muscles in his neck start to tighten. He'll be rotating his head as he watches this woman walk by. Get right about here. He ends up face-face with his woman, and she's just laughing at him. Is that cute? Did you like that? Why don't you go ahead and get her, bring her home. You can handle two women. Go ahead and go get her, Studley. I was just saying kind of what dress she was wearing, that's all. Think you look better in that dress than she does. You'd have to get a smaller size, though. Maybe we should just go home and argue for a while. <laughs> we guys can take anything you women say and turn it into a sexual innuendo. A woman could just say, you know, I've got to get my tires rotated. <laughs> I'd like to rotate her tires, I tell you that, boy. <laughs> we guys tend to lose a romance a little faster than you women do. We forget to do little romantic things, like to talk to her. <laughs> Just blows our minds, doesn't it, guys? We forget after a couple of years, we said everything we have to say. But she'll come up to you one night. Let's talk for a while. What do you want to talk about? Just talk about stuff. Well, stuff? What kind of stuff? Just our stuff. Well, how long we got to talk? <laughs> Will I get credit for how long we talked so far? Well, where are you going? Is that a good talk or a bad talk? <laughs> Hell, that wasn't so bad. I'll talk anytime you want. <laughs> if there's any beer left in there, bring one out, will you? <laughs> All this talking makes me thirsty. I really believe that women spend more time thinking about the relationship than guys do. If you don't believe me, go into a bookstore, see how many self-help books on love there are geared towards women. There are stacks of them. There's women who love too much, women who love men who hate women, women who love men who look like their father but act like their sister. <laughs> there aren't any of these books for guys because guys don't read them. Guys stop thinking, scheming, plotting the moment a woman says I love you to the guy. When a woman says I love you to the guy, to him it's safe. <laughs> He jumps up, dusts himself off, it's Miller time. <laughs> Women try to understand we guys aren't that deep. You think we are, but we're not that deep. Toughest question you can ask your man is, what are you feeling right now? <laughs> Toughest question. You ask him that question, he's just gonna go through a mental checklist. What are you feeling right now? I'm not hungry. <laughs> I'm not tired. <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> Most important thing I can learn to do as a guy is just to be able to listen to my girlfriend without telling her how to solve her problem, not telling her what to do, without giving her that guy advice. Because sometimes that's all she wants me to do is just to be there to listen to her. She's got one of those problems. You understand what's going on here? She wants me to be made of honor in her wedding. I love her. We are like sisters for life. But I hate the guy she's going to marry. I feel like such a hypocrite. I don't know what's going on. Well, this is an easy one. Just tell her to marry a different guy. <laughs> Let's go eat. <laughs> I think the fact that women pay more attention, think more about the relationship is probably reasons why they make less mistakes during the relationship. Absolutely. They learn faster from life experiences. For a guy to learn, he basically has to go to court. <laughs> All right, I'm learning here, I'm learning here. Take it off now, take it off. Take it off. <laughs> the commitment to be made, the commitment to be made to the relationship, you know. Sometimes people say, well, if you just move in together, that's a commitment. 
heard people say, yeah, if you live together first, then you get married, then you know marriage will work because you've already lived together. I don't know if that's a good theory or not. That's such a good theory. Why not go all the way? Have the kids first. <laughs> then whether you not get married depends on how the kids turn out. <laughs> I'm t telling you, son, I see an already poor girl like this. Your mom and I will never get married. <laughs> that's a lot of pressure, Dad. You just have to be able to go through the arguments, the fights. Because you have arguments, you know that. I don't care how much you love each other, no matter how much you need each other, there are going to be those moments in any particular day. Well, one minute, look at the other person, you're thinking to yourself, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. And your next thought could be, how can I fake my death? <laughs> no, I was just thinking. <laughs> Don't argue about things. People argue about money. Money. See, the myth is that since women shop more, they spend more. But guys actually buy more expensive things, so it all kind of evens out. Well, whoever's doing the bills is the one who flips. Whoa! 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 Hey, babe, come here a minute. We got a little economic discussion here. So you can't spend more than you take in. Stop me if I sound out of line. <laughs> Look at it. This bill's yours. That bill's yours. That bill's yours. Why don't you come up for air any place anyway? <laughs> Babe, you got to cut down. You're spending too much money. What about your boat? My boat. I need my boat. <laughs> you know that fish you ate last night? That fish that I caught with my boat? That fish would cost... Ten dollars in the store. I catch four thousand more of those fish. That boat pays for itself. I don't see your dresses making any money there. That can be arranged. All right, all right. And you guys know this: if you have an argument with a woman you love and she starts to cry, you lose the argument. White flag surrender. You're done, Daddy-o. You can't argue with a woman you love when she's crying. When she's crying, the only thing you can think about is to try to stop her from crying. Oh, well, look, dear, look on the wall. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Well, we guys are cute. Sometimes we guys act differently around a woman we love when we're home alone with her than we're out with the other guy. You see the guy at home, he's like, boopsie doopsie. <laughs> Bing -a -boop. Oh, he's moochie again, he's moochie. Poops, you have to go out for a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> have to do some business with my associates. And then I come right back. <laughs> yes, I will, yes, I will, yes, I will. Then the guy gets out with his friends. Yeah, I told the bitch I'd come back when I fell like. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good night, folks.